So I didn't have enough time to cover this example in class today. Um, so hopefully this video would help people who didn't come to discussion as well. Um, so let's start. This is my K map, okay? So when I say A is true here, it means that for this whole region, the value of A is true. So A is basically the value in the first position. Here we see 1, right? Over here we also see 1. There. So that's my value of A. A is 1 over here. A is 1 over here as well. And for this whole region over here, this whole region over here, A is 0, as we can see. The first position A is 0 here. A is 0 here as well. So for this left half of the k-map, A is false. For this right half, A is true, right? So for B, we're looking at the second number. So B, this one is 0. This one is 1. This one is 1. This one is 0. So for the middle region, B is true. And on the two corner, B is false, right? We just look at the second number here. So same thing for C. C is 0 over here. So this entire row, C is 0. For this entire row on the bottom, C is true, right? So that's the basic. So now, when I do SOP, I look at output 1, right? So let's see, if I look at this 1 right here, I look at this neighbor. Can I go left? I can go left here. This is my, this is a don't care. I can make a circle with size of 2, right? Because I cannot make size of 4. Remember when we do kmap, we want to do size of power size that is power power of 2 so we go from say start from whatever 16 and then we go down the list 8 4 2 1 so we cannot make 16 we cannot make 8 we cannot make 4 there are only three ones it's impossible to make 4 or even with this don't care if we make a 4 it's gonna give us a an awkward shape that is not a square, right? Which I already cover in class. So now I'm trying to aim for two. So I can go left here and make a circle. So I'm gonna make this one. That's one circle that covered this one. I can also go down and cover this one. So that's another circle. I cannot go right because it's a zero. So that's it for this one. So now if I look at this one right here, I can go up, which I already drew the circle. I cannot go left because it's a zero. I can go right and draw another one. Okay, so I have one circle here, one circle here, one circle here. So now for this one, I can go left. I already drew the circle. Cannot go up because it's a one, zero. I cannot go right and loop back because on this side is a zero. So that's all the circles I have. I have three circles. Right? I have three circles. Um, delete this. So I have three circles and it's m of 0, 1, 2, 6, m of 6, 7, and m of 5, 7. Okay, now remember when I said we look at essential and non-essential? We look at the first value and see if it appears anywhere else, right? So for, for this value, 2 doesn't appear anywhere else. However, 
This two is a don't care. So we don't check it. Okay, I didn't have time to go over this in class. But if it is a don't care, we don't check. Okay, two is a don't care here. We move on to six. Now we check six. Six appears in this list, right? It appears somewhere else, so it's not essential. So remember that we don't check two. So now six for this list, six appears in this list as well. So we move on and we check seven. Seven appears in this list. So we know that this is non-essential. Now for five, five doesn't appear anywhere else. So we stop there and we know for sure this is an essential. So this is important, okay? Don't just look at this and see, oh, two doesn't appear, so I'm going to make it essential. No. Two is a don't care, so we skip it and we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, that's what I want to uh, point out. So now remember when we do, um, when we try to do SOP, we, we write out the essential one first because it helps us save time. We write out essential one. We know for sure we need to cover five. And the only way to cover five is E, is uh, to have this prime implicant. So, so for this one, we have F equal to M of two, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So we need to, so here I cover five, I cover five already, I also cover seven already, right? kind of hard to see. I already cover five. Go. Okay. Try a different color. So I already cover five. I already cover seven. So I'm missing a six. Right? So I'm look here. I look here and I see six can be covered here or it can be covered here. So we have two cases. Okay, we can do m of two six, or we can also do m of six seven. So now we stop and we check again. We cover five, we cover seven, we cover six. So now we're done. We have two terms. And to get the S the, the actual term is very easy, right? We look at 5, 7, which is 5, 7 is this circle right here. Okay, this circle agree on A. A is true, so we write down A. With this circle B, they don't agree on B because this one B is true, this one B is false, right? They both agree on C because for this entire row, C is true. So we're going to write AC, okay? So 2, 6 is this circle right here. So for both of them, okay. A, they don't agree on A because this one is false. This one A is true. They agree on B because for this whole, this these two values, B is true. So we write down B. And then for both of them, C is false. So we're going to write C not. Okay. Same thing for this. Okay, C plus 6, 7 is this. They agree on A. They agree on B. They don't agree on C. 
So that's our answer. And that's how we do SOP. If we want to do POS, say if I have the exact same table with, uh, with zero here, right? So if, if this is my table and I'm trying to look at zero, this is N. So these non-essential things, the same thing, but now this would change. So I'm of, so we do the same thing. Let's just get that. This is big M now. Now it's a product, so this is a time. Okay. So now for five seven, we also start off with five seven. Five seven is this circle right here. Okay. So they agree on A, A is true, but then for POS, we try to force the input to be zero, okay? So A is one right now, right? We see A is one, A is one. We want to force it to be zero, so we have to take the complement of that. So instead of writing A, we write A prime. Okay, so now for B, they don't agree on B, so we don't write anything. They agree on C. C is true. So again, we try to force the input to be zero. And C is true in this case. So we want to do the complement of that, which is C prime, to make it zero. So that's our 5, 7. Now for 2, 6. 2, 6 is this one. So they don't agree on A. They agree on B, and B is true. So you see how the second value is 1 here, second value is 1 here, so B is true. But we try to force it to be 0. So instead of writing the B, we have to do B naught, so, so that we force the 1 to become 0. So for C, for both of them, C is already 0, so we just write down C. Okay. Now, same thing here. For 6 and 7 is this one. A is true. A is 1 here. But then we want, we want it to be 0, so we do A0. B is also 1 for this whole column, so we want to do complement of that so then we can get a 0. Okay, and then for C, this one C is false, this one C is true, so we don't do anything. So now this is our product of some terms. Yeah, hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, yeah, okay. Bye-bye.